Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and of course, continuing on with the Harry Potter review marathon. Now we've come up to the second installment, which being the Chamber of Secrets. And if I have or have not established this before, this is without a doubt my favorite Harry Potter film. Yes. So, uh, first off, the story. The second installment of, there should be the in there, but, okay. So I'll go ahead and say it with the. Um, the second installment of uh, The Boy Wizard, Harry Potter's Adventures at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, based on the novel by J.K. Rowling, a mysterious elf tells Harry to expect trouble during his second year at Hogwarts, but nothing can prepare him for trees that fight back, flying cars, spiders, that talk, and deadly warnings written in blood on the walls of the school. So yeah, again, this being the second installment of of the Harry Potter franchise. And we get, we get, of course, the return of, say, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, the late Richard Harris, you know, his last time playing Dumbledore before Michael Gambon took on the role. Uh, Tom Felton, uh, Alan Rickman, uh, Fiona Shaw, Maggie Smith, uh, Richard Griffiths, um, and uh, Robbie Coltrane, uh, Julie Waters, and Bonnie Wright, who have big parts in this film, and, uh, you know, and especially Jenny. She's now part of Hogwarts. And also, Mark Williams, uh, his debut in the second film as Arthur we Weasley, uh, the father of the Weasleys, and, of course, we get the return of, say, the Weasley twins, Fred and George, and Percy, um, Oliver Wood, uh, Warwick Davis, um, and, um, you know, also the debut of Professor Sprout and uh, Gemma Jones as one of the Hogwarts nurses. Um, and also, new faces that come in. Toby Jones, the voice of Dobby the House Elf, and Kenneth Branagh as Gilderoy Lockhart. Gilderoy was definitely a great character in this. Um, you know, from the, his own theme music and, you know, his personality, it was great, you know, and the scenes with Gilderoy from, like, say, you know, because Gilderoy is the new defend, um, defend against the dark arts teacher, and that one sequence with, with him, the students, and the Cornish Pixies, that was a good sequence, uh, the wand, uh, duel, you know, practice, uh, that sequence, and not to mention during that sequence, that's where the infamous, you know, um, camera crew gets in the shot, that, that part right there. Um, some cool action sequences, like, say, with the flying car, uh, being chased by the spiders, uh, the basilisk, uh, the Quidditch match, and the Quidditch match in this was one of my favorite Quidditch matches in the Harry Potter films. Even, like, say, when one of the balls... I wish I could remember the name of the, the name of the ball, but the one that chases Harry. It chases Harry, and it turns out Dobby caused the ball to to chase Harry. And even say Dobby blocked the the entrance from the real world to to the Wizarding World, you know, at the train station, causing Ron and Harry to take the flying car, etc. And um, with the Whomping Willow Tree attacking the, the the flying car, and at one point Ron's wand is broken. <laughs> Yeah, and also, from one to the other, each like each one in the Hogwarts castle being attacked by the Basilisk, being frozen stiff from Mrs. Norris to, uh, I wish I could remember this one character's name, like, he has a camera, and he got attacked by the Basilisk looking through him, looking through his camera, uh, nearly headless Nick, once again played by John Cleese, he got attacked by the Basilisk, and... Even, say, Hermione got attacked as well by looking at the basilisk through a mirror she had. Um, and, um, yeah, even, say, like, after she got attacked, and it's all it's all up to Ron and, her, and Harry to, to, to take on, and so on. Even, say, with the spider sequence. And Aragog, who, you know, when Harry's looking through Tom's diary, you know... He travels back in time, and apparently Aragog was accused of attacking and killing Moni Myrtle in the girls' bathroom. And, you know, Moni Myrtle being played by Shirley Henderson. And to think that she was, like, in her 30s when she was Moni, when she played Moni Myrtle, that's just unbelievable. And, you know, she she looked like a kid, basically. <laughs> that made her up so well. And also, this was the, de this was the debut of Cornelius, uh, you know, the head of Ministry of, Ma of, Ministry of Magic, uh, 
you know, played by the late Robert Hardy. So, and he had a wig in the in the in this film, um, and also yeah, uh, Aragog as I mentioned, Aragog being voiced by Julian Glover, best known for being in say The Empire Strikes Back and one of the main villains like Nazis in The Last Crusade. That's awesome. And um, even at one point, uh, Gilderoy is is uh, it turns out that Gilderoy. Uh, is found out to be a fraud and been and has been taking credit for what for what other wizards have done. The only thing he can do that you know which Ron asks him is the ability to you know the the a spell that causes uh, like those to erase their minds and so on. And he tries that on Ron and Harry by snatching Ron's wand. But even though Ron's wand was broken, it. It it this he uses the spell on him and he's forgotten all about who he is. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and even say when at one point everybody finds out that Harry can speak to snakes and mistaken him for the grandson of Salazar Slytherin, which actually Harry is the grandson of Go of Godric Gryffindor. Um, and um, that whole sequence with Harry and you know Tom Riddle being played by. Christian Coulson, which, and it turns out, Tom Riddle reveals himself to be Voldemort. Harry taking on the Basilisk, uh, Dumbledore's pet bird Forks coming in to save Harry a couple times by bringing him the sword of Godric Gryffindor, blinding the Basilisk, and even, say, Harry killing the Basilisk, and even though, like, one tooth of the Basilisk got into his arm, poisoning him, he used the tooth to d destroy Tom Riddle's diary, Ginny's okay, she's awake, and it turns out that Ginny, she opened the Chamber of Secrets again, and at one point Hagrid was accused, you know, um, before then. Forks uh, saves Harry by crying tears to get rid of the spell. Forks flies everyone back to Hogwarts, even Gilderoy. He's like, amazing, this is just like magic! Dumb, uh, Harry and Ron are rewarded points. Uh, Dobby is revealed to be the slave and servant of the Malfoy family. And when Harry s frees Dobby by giving him one of his socks, Dobby saves Lucius. Um, you know, not Lucius. He saves Harry from Lucius because Lucius was almost about to kill him. Because Lucius was the one that started this whole thing by opening the Chamber of Secrets again. Because we all know what Lucius is like later on. And the epilogue was nice. We see that Nearly Headless Nick is okay, everybody else is all right, Mrs. Norris, etc., and Hermione. All three of them are reunited. Hagrid is free from Azkaban, and even Harry says to, ha to Hagrid, it, it wouldn't be Hogwarts without you. And one by one, they applaud Hagrid, and I just love that camera shot. The camera pans out of the castle. It's a beautiful ending right there in the epic music. And, and, this is the only Harry Potter film where there is an end credit scene. And we see that, well, Gilderoy, he's in, like, this mental hospital or something. Uh, you know, who am I? <laughs> it's a funny end credit scene. But in closing, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is without a doubt one of my favorite Harry Potter films. I give this a 10 out of 10 for sure. And what about you guys? What do you think of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? What did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like as always. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Chamber of Secrets. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And of course, the, re the Harry Potter review marathon is still continuing. Now we're coming up to... Uh, Movie number three, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Take care and peace out.